Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.8. We continue with what the heck were we doing anyway? Uh, we have a Valander. I guess we should take a look at the Valander. So, we've got 3,000 meters per second and we intend on landing on Val. Was there any particular... We need to bring back a Val, Val Ice Chunk. And so let's double check what biome we need to be at for that. Because those ice chunks will only appear in certain biomes. Okay, lowlands, northwest basin, or southern valley biomes. Okay, so we'll have uh, Rich Hat do some EVAs to see what biome we're over. Let me grab all the data. I want, I want to click Rich Hat. Highlands. Well, so these are highlands. Hopefully the... Maybe this is the Northwest Basin. It looks like a basin. It's north. Let's go over there first. Maybe we should bring our orbit down. It seems a bit high. Okay, is this a basin? You'll, you'll be test, uh, spending all your time... This is the Northwest Basin, okay. Alright, so we'll land here on the next go-around. Okay, that's a pretty convincing path to land there. Unfortunately, Rich Hat probably does not have enough fuel to return home. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a rescue mission. On the bright side, we did give Rich Hat a docking port. It happens, yes it happens. The Jeb quite a lot, actually. What the heck kind of view is this? <laughs> Stop messing me up with weird views. Okay. I have my soul panels out. That was pretty risky. Okay. Well, let's get a crew report. Let's see if we can get these logs. Seismic data. Oh. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, so, I, okay. So, board again. Let me do those and then he can grab them. But, you know, there are a lot of games I've started but did not complete, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey I want to as well. It's such a beautiful game. I really like the rendition of Ancient Greece. At one point I considered being a classics miner, but I decided on Celtic Studies instead. Skyrim sort of has an end, but you can avoid that. I've never reached its end and I, I don't I haven't reached the end of any Elder Scrolls game now which of you is an ice chunk there's a thing over there look over there I thought I saw something splash this looks like a nice chunk um was that me going over it I think it was me going over it okay yeah it says climb so pick up Val ice chunk Okay, well, um, well, let's go ahead. Um, I have to worry about not having enough EVA. Well, I mean, at least we have a ladder this time. I'm worried that I can't take like a sample of this while carrying the ice chunk. I'm gonna fall really fast. Eek. Ow, ow, ow. I also wish we had like transporting space parts like pods. Um, they showed uh, CST 100 on its truck bed. Can't somebody make that for Euro Truck Sim? We may need a rover to do geyser stuff. I don't know why I'm hearing some other sound. Is that in the game or is it in the music? There's a sort of clicking sound. Let me stop running. I think that's in the game. Well, let me stop the music for a sec. Okay, yeah, that, that's the sound effect of the geyser. That's what I was hearing. No, this is stock, stock, stock. With the DLCs. I think it's hot, Mr. Doobie. I don't want to use any more EVA propellant because I'm more than halfway through it, so we're walking. 
or running. Um, yeah, I can't run any faster holding down shift or alt, so that's it. And we're walking. I guess I can turn on the music again. We'll know that that sound effect is the geyser when we hear it. But I think only the rover can... I think the geyser is one of those big things that only a rover can examine. I haven't actually taken the surface sample. I've got the ice chunk. I wonder if he... if Rich had stood at the vent when it starts steaming like this, whether he would get hurt. Hmm. Or whether he'd, he'd get launched up. And we're climbing. I don't know if I should risk Rich Hat. I don't know if taking a surface sample is any different. No. Oh yes! Not very much, but he got raised up. I did not do that, but it wasn't much. I, I'm not. I'm not causing him to go up at all. Does not seem like he's in any danger. We'll we'll see again. I'm not touching anything. We can find a speed spot. All right, I'll move to the center and see. Seems like the best place. We may have to wait a little bit. Old Faithful in Yosemite is like a minute, right? Something like that. Whoa! Bot move. Okay, well, that's what it does. I can't do any other signs from it, so... It is what it is. Now, how far away are we from the pod? 4.6 kilometers, jeez. Is it past this hill? Or is it on the hill? I think it's on the hill, right? I think we've gone too high up. Yeah, I know. I'm watching. I'm watching. Ooh, ow. Well. It's still okay. I don't know what the actual Kerbal Death Speed is. On the flag. Val should go to Val for the rescue. I don't know if he needs to be rescued around Val, though. It's probably in dual orbit. With bonus geyser visit. Visit. Okay. I wonder if you can still see it in the distance. You can still see it puff in the distance there. Look. We should at least be able to get to orbit. But getting back home, I doubt. To uh... Yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the goo. Oh, well, okay. Checklist? What checklist? Big minus minus with marshmallow chunks? What about the geysers? That's not a marshmallow chunk. I just got geysers. It's special. We need to just send stuff over to Jules so that there's something ready and waiting to save our Kerbals if necessary. Okay, well that'll be safe for the time being. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of assets around here. Why, 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 why don't we just launch like relief tugs everywhere? Blueberry? Oh yeah, Rich Hat was Mr. Blueberry. Hmm. I guess Rich Hat is the geologist. 
It looks like Kerbin has to be 48 degrees behind Jewel. We just picked up an ice chunk from Val and we were looking to... Oh, and we saw Geyser on Val and Hello Al Gol. And now we're looking to bring Rich Hat back. So, to get somebody back from Jewel to Kerbin, it's... Kerbin has to be 48 degrees behind. But... And this is obviously not 48 degrees behind. But I wonder if I... Well, and it doesn't matter. We have to actually send a mission over to Jewel first. Because Rich Hat doesn't have enough fuel. Mm. Next transfer window... Maybe I'll just time warp through. I don't care. Let's get our uh, Kerbal back from Jewel, maybe. We landed... We actually landed a Moho. I've already blocked that on my memory. Can we ho hop to another biome with it? There, I mean, I can't even tell what a different biome... I mean, we'd have to hop all the way over there, maybe? That certainly looks like a different biome. I don't know, 768 doesn't sound like much to hop with, but... Let's see, what biome are we? Maybe if we land in a crater... There's, uh, over there, I guess. This is the Midlands. Slope magnet? <laughs> yeah. Actually, it seems like that crater was in the east. Well, we're going west now. I don't know if we're gonna land safely. This is probably going to be a litho break. I don't know if we... No. How about the uh, Gravioli? Highlands. Well... We've already transmitted that, apparently. Yeah, so this will be a litho break. We'll see how well it does. 15 seconds. Not, well, uh, did I say it was going to be a little break? Yes. So, yes, I have already determined that it's not enough fuel. There's a rock there. There's a thing there. Like a lava thing. Oh. I think it's a successful little break. Yes, we have our instruments. And the antenna. You guys thought lethal breaking was a joke. Aw, oh, we already did this one. Ah. Oh. Well, it didn't give me anything. Um Really the most lucrative thing is gonna be the ice chunk. Let's just focus on jewel stuff. There's this position of satellite in a tundra orbit of Jewel too. Mm-hmm. Yep, so I'm just gonna time warp until the Jewel transfer window. And then we'll send the rescue mission for for Rich Hat, as well as the um, other support missions for Jewel. So if we send this refueler, it should be able to tug our thing. But we don't need the reusability since we're sending it all the way out to Jewel. It's not going to need this stuff. Space Tub. Advanced Edition. Okay. We're going to go with the... the Space Dalek method of doing things. Let me just see how much fuel we need to deliver Fort Valander. Oh yeah, that would have been quite a lot of fuel for this. Okay. And we'll launch all the things. We'll launch uh, Nuclear 1 and 2, but we'll launch this as well. I guess. Okay, and I can't really wait for the music. Go! Um, I'm gonna let it tilt up. I'm gonna eject off that um, nose cone. Okay, that's basically circular enough for me. 
separation. That was an interesting echoey effect there. Okay, so this is an orbit. We'll bring this back down again. And it seems like these are armed by the staging. No quick saves or reverts, that's correct. Uh, difficulty options. No reverts, no quick loading, no missing crews respawn. Yes, indestructible. Yes, allow other launch sites. Yes, enable. 60, 60, 60, 200, 200. Um, couples do level up. We do allow negative, never hit that before. Part pressure limits, yes. G force limits, yes. Part upgrades, whatever. Require signal for control, plasma blackouts, enable extra grounds. I mean, I should learn some of these tracks, darn it. Why is it tumbling? Why is it tumbling? Well, we already know that it actually survives while tumbling, so... But still, I don't like it tumbling. It's because we lose communication and it stops holding retrograde. Monte Carlo remains the best track. It should just hold retrograde. Uh, maybe we should put a... I mean, there's actually a satellite right there. It's just the internal comms of the controller, that, which is all we're using here, can't connect to it. It's Kuba. On the bright side, last time it did this... We landed really close to the KSC, so... Maybe that's a good thing? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna land close to the KSC this time. I think it's gotta be more like threatening mountains or ahead of the mountains on this side. Anyway, if uh, if there was any justice on Kerbin, they would have super highways specifically for the transport of large rocket stages. Just like, you know, the United States built the highway system for tanks they would build a highway system all over Kerbin to transport rocket stages. I can't imagine what else they would need highways for. And until that sort of thing is implemented on Kerbin, we're not doing a manual recovery of things. Because there's obviously a flaw in the landscape of Kerbin that all the Kerbals are confined to a tiny little area. There's a little thing over there, I don't know what it is. Uh, no, let me recover, let me recover! Before it tips over. <laughs> oh, we have to start to burn pretty quickly. That's a long time ahead. Eight minutes ahead of time. Weird. It is a weird way to start a burn. Um, we just have really underpowered engines. We'll do the burn in two parts then. After all, this was originally meant to deliver fuel, not make interplanetary burns. It was supposed to deliver all this fuel to the space plane. Yeah, I haven't tried dark multiplayer. There are a number of things I haven't tried that maybe I'll try like right before KSP2 comes out. Um, Principia. <laughs> Dark Multiplayer. Uh, what, else, what else are the big ones that I haven't tried? I, those, are, those are the two that come to mind. Well, I don't know if we want master servers. It'll be too hard to get people to sync up with the time warp stuff if you use massive servers. Well, it's easier when there's just a more limited situation. Least factor? No, but for almost all of the time, people will be in 1x time warp because they're handling things in 1x time warp. Um, right? I mean, most actual activity in Kerbal Space Program occurs in 1x. And then very occasionally, people go at higher time warp factors, but for as little amount of time as they can. They'll pick the highest time warp factor they can. So if you have a least time warp factor, it'll pretty much always be in 1x. If there's more than three people. So that's a bit of a problem. You'd have to get everybody agreeing to go to a higher time warp factor, but... That's tough. 
Also, they need would need to eliminate the fact that time does not pass when you're in the VAB. No, I mean, Dark Multiplayer handles it such that everybody goes at their own thing, but they can choose to resync with somebody else. And maybe that's how they do it. But Dark Multiplayer was way glitchy, as far as I could see. So... They'll have to do it a lot smoother than Dark Multiplayer did. Did we already pass? I saw a little flick of something. Let's see. No, we're still going. Oh, we'll just capture first manually and then go to Val. And we'll, we will do a manual capture instead of trying to get Tyler to do it, because getting Tyler to do it can sometimes put you into a weird inclination. So we'll go like this. Alright, so we'll try and put together a nuclear one. This one is on its way, but we don't want to wait because we're at the transfer window. Let's do a whole bunch of jewel stuff today. Oh, that's a lot of fuel that we're not going to be using. How heavy is this? Hmm. How can this only have 2,000... Oh, it must be sea level. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm figuring using this 774 meters per second finish orbit. And that... That this... The burn time of this might be excessive. Well, that's under an hour anyway. Well, it's still all about the mainsails, I think. That's not gonna be enough to lift it up. So a weird Atlas thing going. Let's use half the fuel so that to compensate for it clipping in. I mean, SRBs wouldn't be recoverable anyway. I mean, because we dumped them too early. And they're inefficient. There's a chance to recover these. Look, I'll go. There's no way I'm gonna use. The one thing that real life solid fuel boosters have is way better specific impulse than these. I mean, the SpaceX engines or anything like that, you know, they have 320, 330 ISP. So that's not too far off from these engines that we have, like the skipper and mainsail or stuff like that. But as long as they're kerosene and oxygen. But the SRBs in game 230 is sad. It's just sad. So. And then the structural mass of it is really heavy. Um, 10 tons with 60 tons of fuel. That means one sixth of the mass of it is just dead weight. And that, of course, that includes the nozzle, but still. You have to put a nose cone on top of it, you have to have a decoupler which is 700 extra and then it gets that kind of efficiency because then you're gonna need more of these you need three of these here but then in order to compensate for lack of fuel and you can't add more segments to it right in real life you want you want more fuel you just add more segments to get more thrust too but um, you know you have a one segment booster two segment booster three segment, and so forth but you can't just stack segments of the SRB like this that might be more useful. So I can't put more fuel on it. So you're gonna have to have more boosters. It's sad. It's all sad. Mass ratio is bad. The efficiency is bad. The two degrees of gimbling is like an afterthought. <laughs> I mean, nice, nice try. Okay, and go. Ooh, there is some... Okay, let's auto-strut. <laughs> that, there was a wiggle there that I was worried about. Alright. We're gonna toss this a little bit higher to give us time to recover the base stage, also to do the burn. The circularization burn. Eh, maybe we can do it separately. I don't want this to ever decouple, I think. 
Can I not have that? <laughs> that's that's a threat in waiting right there. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty high. Let me go back to the other thing. We're gonna do a little dance between the two here. This wasn't reserving enough fuel for what I wanted it to do, but... I should have just put the parachutes on one side so it would land on its belly instead of trying to land on the mainsails. Well, we'll have to deal with a periapsis of negative 27 kilometers. That's probably bad. We'll find out. This has to go retrograde. This still has to make orbit. I should have action grouped the terriers. They're basically our maneuvering engines, so... They will turn off after the maneuver is... After the turn is done, basically. More impulse? It adds more thrust. It speeds things up a bit. We don't want to take too long trying to get to orbit, after all. And so there's certain maneuvers we need to do quickly. The... Nerva is too slow. It only has... I mean, they basically all have about the same thrust, right? This is 60, 60, 60, so it's triple the thrust with the Terriers. Not very good in terms of the ISP, but sometimes we need the extra push. Also, uh, I don't think the Nerve gimbals. Simple addition. I don't know what's simple, but uh, we had uh, tanks that were liquid fuel and oxidizer anyway. And these guys surface mount. About thrust and also gimbling. Because the nerve doesn't gimbal. So without the reaction wheel, we want simple addition. Yeah, well, 60 kilonewtons is 60 kilonewtons. Is that what you mean? You don't have to weigh it by ISP. ISP has to be weighted by thrust, but thrust does not get weighted by ISP. Looks like the aerodynamics favors it going tail first this time. Unless it'll just flip around again. Where are we? Yeah. Basically on the opposite side of the world from the KSP. Of course, uh, KSC, I mean. Um, that's because this was carrying more. No, no air brakes. Uh, that's gonna be a problem, probably, huh? I think the parachute's gonna rip off, alright. Maybe. Ooh, barely. Barely okay. But, uh, yeah, it was carrying less payload, it didn't alright, but it was too much payload for it. To get back to the KSC. Mm, six point. Well, parachute wise, it's enough. But landing on three engines isn't really good. We would rather land on five engines, obviously, or four. Four would have been better. Slope is minimal, I guess. Getting ready to press recover, though. Oh no! Uh. Ah! Uh, we could get all the parachutes back if it stopped rolling, though. Uh, it's not gonna stop rolling, is it? Can I recover this? I'll recover this first. Maybe we can recover the other part in the tracking station. Um. Yeah, that's most of the parachutes. I guess we lost one parachute. Uh, we sure didn't recover a whole lot of value from them, because only 28.6% is where it landed. Anyway, we have to get our tug over to Jewel now. Here, the Delta V is a bit confused too. It's switching back and forth between the Terrier one and the... Nerve one, but that it's fair that it doesn't understand which one 
how it's going to go in this case. Mechjab would pretend to know, but it really wouldn't know. How did these get tilted? Oh, whatever. <sighs> they were supposed to be straight. Now they're all droopy-faced. So, between this and the non-nuke uh, transfer stage, or tug, which one will get to our target first? That is the question. Break burn? I don't know about big break burn. Jewel is very helpful, and we could always use Tylo to slow us down if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Oh, that's too close. I mean, so after we do this 110, to capture into orbit just takes like 300. And then if we wanted to bring that all the way down to Val, uh, that's less than Val. A little bit high too. Um, that's 900, but you know, we've got 4,926, so psh. Yeah, you have to, so the key to not coming in too fast is making sure that, you see how the apoapsis here is just grazing Jules' orbit? You see Jules' orbit is there, and but this apoapsis is like just touching it. If you go like way past it, like you have this huge orbit like this, and then you hit it, then you'll be going too fast. So the way to minimize it is if the apoapsis is just touching it, then you're okay then you won't be going too fast. Okay, so let's go to the tracking station. We've got two missions. I guess that's what I'll do. I'll just send these two to try and get... We'll try and get uh, Rich Hat back during this. I don't know why the other one is... like, weaker and weaker. It's, I got a red line instead of this one. This one has a green line. I thought the other one had nice antennae. To make orbit, it's difficult to calculate. It does depend on the way you come in, yes. And it's uh, it's probably the most... It's one of the more difficult calculations. The other one is to plan a slingshot. It is another very difficult calculation that I can't do by hand. But yeah, I can't do the calculation for how much it takes to capture by hand, no. Otherwise, I'd be getting the Mars transfers a whole lot easier. I mean, when we capture on that end. Even this isn't the perfect one. The perfect one would be encountering Jewel at our apoapsis, but that's because our timing was a bit off. The Voyager slingshots, but that's easy because I knew the timing and how much it would take. Because, I mean, Voyager ha already had the right amount packed, so I didn't have to worry about that. It's like planning it when you don't know when and how much you need to uh, do the corrections by, then that's a problem. Or worse, if it's like something that does a whole bunch of Venus and Mar uh, Mercury flybys. You can get the first three, but then after that it's worse and worse. I mean, at most Voyager had to worry about Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. But then, so that's just three. If you have to, you know, and then the Uranus got to Neptune, so that's fine. But then, if you have something like a messenger probe that has to go, I forget the order of its things, but you know, pass by Venus a hundred times and then a few by Mercury, then it gets worse and worse after the third one. Um, basically, three is okay, but something with seven flybys, it's really painful. Any minor error on the first one leads to bigger and bigger errors down the road. Yeah, why does this have such a low signal strength with these two? I guess these are actually weaker than the Commutron 88s. Um, and it's not actually 
This, these are relays, but the, oh, uh, this might not have communication when it reaches. Um, because the Communitron 888s aren't relays. I forgot, this is, I thought these dishes were nice dishes, but they're not good enough. Crap. It looks like we need further development of this tug, there's many flaws. Well, we have a Tylo encounter. I can't say I like what it's doing to us. I guess uh, we'll have a correction when we enter the dual system. Uh, so either... Either we get communication somehow, or this is gonna smash into Jewel and dispose of itself. I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. We'll leave it like that. So maybe we'll lose communication and then they'll just dispose of itself. Or if we have communication, we can save it. To the tracking station. Now let's see what the situation is with the nuclear tug. We'll have to send a different nuclear tug. Well, this will dispose of itself. We don't worry about it anymore. Can't even get rid of this maneuver. Oh, I should have sent the thing to satisfy that mission. Well, there was, there needs to be a dual satellite mission because we already got a contract for it that I keep not sending. I don't know why it still says nuclear tug. I guess it didn't end up crashing in a dual after all because I time warped right through that. Well, shucks. Maybe we'll like find a way to save it. I doubt that. Dock a uh, antenna to it. Okay, there's Jewel. What? Wait, no, there's Jewel. Ah, <laughs> that was Tylo. Nearly pointless. Yes, it would be pointless. I don't want one. It's fine. I just want my Commutron 8888s because they pack up well. They were meant to be the ultimate antenna. The pinnacle of te antenna technology. That's not where I want to go. Fine, we'll just have a tangency. Make sure that gets corrected properly. Alright. And around here-ish. Complicated things are happening. Alright, we'll, we'll deal with that later. I forget, uh, it seems like the... Okay, no, that's... Okay, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Yeah, the transfer time back is soon. Uh, if we can get this done, Kerbin will soon catch up so that we can make the transfer back with our Kerbal Rich Hat. Well, well, things are going fast. Okay. I think we're encountering Val. Well, I mean, we just don't have the Delta V for all of this, I don't think. I should have just used Tylo. Tylo to capture around Jewel, Tylo to get us to Val, Tylo for all the things. Saved us a lot of fuel if I did that. Well, it says we've captured, but Kerbal doesn't actually believe it. I mean, the Apple House is down there says we've captured, but it's not true. We do 76 and then it's 500. Now, how little mod propellant do I need to reserve in order to do a docking? I think I'll reserve 30 for the actual docking. Probably don't need that much, hopefully, maybe. Well, is this a rescue mission or not? You're about to find out. And once we get in Renner range, we'll have the target point towards this. Hopefully things will... things will be nice. Oh, comms are out. Mm. 
We've got a line out to something that can't communicate back to Kerbin. That's great. Okay, we have comms back. And then we should have it for this side of Val. I hope these forward swept wings don't interfere with anything on the other. I don't think so. Well, that was pretty good. Okay, well, I'm just gonna dump all the fuels into this. And we'll see how much we've got and whether we can get back home. Well, this now has 2,533. I think that might be enough. So, I think Rich Hat is saved. Um, it looks like Kerbin is about in the right place for transfer back. Maybe a little bit past. We've taken a bit long. I guess it, the timing isn't really sensitive right now. Okay, there we have an approach. So we'll do this first. Okay. That's a pretty good start. I think um, we can just do a burn here. After two years! We've probably got to fail some contracts because I'm just time warping through all this stuff. Alright, Departing Jewel. Rich Hat has been at it for 6 years and 283 days so far. Hey, I should transmit some science back. Just in case. But no, we require that our Kerbal returns. Okay. Um... Let's try and slow down a bit with the fuel remaining. Okay, that's about what we were looking for. These are not set right. Gosh darn it. Try yourself. Uh, my past self is always causing my present self so much trouble. I didn't grab the goo from the bottom. Gosh darn it. Well... We'll see. Will Rich Hat survive? At least I didn't pull a jeb on him. You're not supposed to put a smiley face next to We Wasted Science, Algol. You're supposed to put a shocked face, you know, the um, colon plus the O. It's the appropriate face for that. Geyser Rider. Yes. Geyser Rider Rich Hat. Like Common Rider, but better. Okay. Our chat is through the worst of it. There's water underneath, and we're on the opposite side of Kerbin from <laughs> KSE. Of course we are. Okay, and recover vessel. Right on time for music this time. That was a long trip for Rich Hat. Long trip. Why does Rich Hat always need to be rescued, though? 1,287 almost science. 37 XP gained. Well, with the recent demise of uh, Jeb... Hey, they're not supposed to lose their stars when they die. That's wrong. Uh, I think Rich Hat is... Certainly our most experienced. Well, Hangul is pretty experienced. Wow, 37 and he didn't even... Well, I guess they because they level up while they're out. Hangul's at... Is... Where... Shouldn't Hangul be back from Dreads by now? Wait. <laughs> what happened to Hangul and Dreads? Have we made a horrible mistake? I'm warping through his return. Transmission. Landed at Duna. Oh yes! Hangul is stranded on Duna. We have to remember to... We have to... Yeah, Hangul only had enough Delta V to get to Duna. 
We need to rescue Hangul, who is on Duna. Please remind me to do this. Whiplash would be nice. But... Shuttle parts are also nice. Especially shuttle wings. So, shuttle wings first. We need a little bit more to get the hypersonic flight. Any of these other 300 ones useful? Panels. I mean, I did sort of want the 3.75 meter things. Um, the structural tube. Is it the engine plate here? Yeah. Hmm. So that's a thought. But maybe I can wait until later for that. Okay, 